Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video, I wanted to talk about private yoga sessions. So what I've seen a lot of questions about how do I start a private yoga session? I just been hired for a private yoga session. What do I do? What is the different what is the difference between this session and the public session? So I've taught private yoga to CEOs of tech companies, um, moms. Uh, yeah, I've, I've taught private yoga to different populations, children, and what I've learned is to start the private yoga session is always check in with your student. So this is probably the number one tip, best advice I can give you is you go to your client, student's house or whatever or maybe even check in through text, say, hey, how's it going? How's your body feeling? Is there anything you want to release or strengthen um, during our yoga sessions? What are your goals? And from there, you can customize the class. Now, if you want the class to be like a VIP experience, you can also bring props with you. I used to bring yoga blocks and straps. And usually around the house, I'll have like pillows, so you don't really need to bring a bolster. But if they're looking to do some type of yin stuff, bring all the equipment. And also, sometimes you get private yoga sessions through recommendations. So if someone recommends you and you're not quite sure what this person's uh, practice is like, um, always bring the props. And then just check in to say, hey, like, is this your first yoga class? And oftentimes, yoga, private yoga sessions is for beginners because they kind of don't want to go to a public class and they don't feel like you know they want to keep up with the class or they just want a personalized session that introduces them to their yoga practice so always check in with them and then if they're like a consistent student you can recommend some things just say hey you know your practice is doing well i would like to introduce to you a pranayama or meditation practice so that's my number one tip on teaching private yoga. Always check in with your customer, your student, ask them what they're needing and deliver that and make sure you come prepared with all the yoga props to give that VIP experience. Sometimes I'll even bring like some tea or something like a pack of tea or something for them. Um, and then also, okay, last is don't be afraid to charge for your private yoga sessions, okay? I charge $250 and above. I live in San Francisco. Um, I know the caliber of my clients, so I charge two fifty and above. So you know, if you're just starting out, maybe you're start you're charging maybe one fifty, but you want to take into account the travel time, the thought and um, the thought and you know the the trouble of bringing all the things to their home. So that is my number one tip. Let me know if you have any questions. If this is your first private yoga session, maybe you just want to talk to somebody and brainstorm about it. If you do want to do that, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll answer the comments. Um, you can also book a session with me. And if you're looking to earn more as a yoga teacher, I would say invest in teaching children because they are the population that is able to expand and they're in that open brain of learning new things and you'll have the biggest impact on them and you'll have the most joy teaching them. And in addition, because they are a, you have to be more attentive and bring props and games and stuff, you're able to charge higher for children's yoga. So if you're interested in that, I do have a flash sale. Um, you can sign up on www.yogafamily.com. Link is below if you're interested in that. And let me just double check that I did not miss any other question. Okay, so just reading on my list of questions here. Another question I also get is, how do you collect payment? So I have another YouTube video on how to collect payment. I will link it here or here. So watch that, but make it easy, make it so easy for them to pay you. Don't make them register. Don't make them do all this other random information because you don't really need to know that. Just get paid. Anyways, let me know if you have any other questions. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.